Brian with sunflower ammo here. Um, we got an old bulletproof vest um, that is expired. So we thought we'd come out and see how it works because uh, the expiration dates on vest are done by the manufacturers more for liability reasons so they only have to pay warranties or potential lawsuits for a certain number of years but 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 also you know some some of the particular threads used in search search certain vests do have a certain lifespan too so but but if you look at this vest um, it is a level level 3 3a vest so it's ready for 444 mag and 9 mil. So the first round round we're going to try on it is going to be uh, federal mil spec or NATO spec 9 mil 124 grain. Um, and then we're going to go to the other side of the vest and um, Try it with the Hornaday 7.62 by 3rd, 39, 120 grain SST, um, with, which it isn't rated to stop. We don't expect it to stop it. But Do you have the steel plate for the center of the... No, we don't have a steel plate, but in the front, we'll, where we'll be shooting with the 9 mil, it does have an add-on um, Kel Kevlar trauma plate, which is supposed to give you some additional protection. For the knife? Is that... Protection. No, it's additional protection there over your heart and sternum, so it's not a knife proof. It's just an additional ballistic. But like 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 that's not not a steel plate, and that additional doesn't change the rating of the vest. So it's still a three A vest. So. And Chad here is going to wear the vest, right? Um. Yeah. Chad volunteered, and I said, "No, nah, that's all right. We got a we got a mannequin we're going to use." So. Cool. That goes my glory. Well, Chad wimped out. He's not going to wear it. He's not going to wear it. You're 40. What else? You got to live a little. Chad. I know. You just turn 40. Dude, you should, we should, you should put it on and just do one shot with uh, Bob's <laughs> little 9mm pistol. Yeah, yeah the Kimber, 45. Just one shot, dude. I, I think I have some 115 grain if you want to use, use that instead. With the 124. Name, hundred, I'll give you a reimbursement. Are we talking about a hundred, hundred bucks? Hundred, <laughs> hundred bucks. A hundred bucks. Well, that's pretty tempting. Well, I'll do one and I'll stop and we'll check it Just out and to take it apart okay. and see, don't yep. you think? Yeah, I'd like to see oh, it after. Okay, we'll do one for yeah, I'd say for it's probably more realistic. All right, well, don't miss Brian. I'm just curious to see what the water. But it won't like. stand up to more than one, will it? It's not intended to. I would hope. I, I thought they were supposed to do multi shot, but we'll see. Um, so we got the federal NATO spec 124 grain, 9 millimeter. Um, shooting out a Glock 34 to make sure we get ma maximum velocity. Should you scoot up a little bit, Brian? This is a family video, so I won't respond to that. You can clearly see the entrance. No way, well. You can see, you can see the deformity there. And you can feel the deformity. If you feel that cavity, it's about the size of my fist. So we can yank the plate out here. Well, I did it on a lark. The way they're going up in price, I'm sure I could. Uh, uh, you so you got the entrance into the plate. To, uh, next week. That's a cra That's a heck of a crater there. In a, in a gun like this, I want it to be blue because they. Have and here's the. Nice on these uh -huh. I shot it underneath the label, so it didn't come through. I don't know if they make the pipe on these things. But nope, they don't make them. If you look at that crater, that. And that definitely caused you a little pain. Are escalating uh, continuously in price. So we'll. You might have trouble breathing for a few days after that, huh? 
So we're gonna pop this back in. That was the cheapest one I found. Uh, yeah, we're gonna try a couple, couple more shots. More than it, but it was a shorter barrel, and the bluing was. Uh, but before we do that, let's take a look at the mannequin here. Well. So I'm sure that felt like an MMA kick to the stern up there. More than that. <laughs> Chad, do you feel confident now that maybe you could do it? Brian hit the target. It didn't go through the vest. Okay. Okay, I put three more shots in it. That was my second shot. I don't know which one of those was my third and my fourth. But after I did that second shot, I tried to get it up, up into the left, but I could see this plate was deforming. Um, so we got... Got two entrance holes there, one there, one there. So here's the back of the vest. Nothing came through. Um, so this expired. Like I said, I'm trying to find the expiration date here. I don't have the expiration date, but it's been expired for a good six, seven, eight years. Um, held up to four shots. There we have the mannequin. <laughs> so, you gonna kick it up a notch? I'm sure that didn't feel good. And you know, if I had the monetary means, I wouldn't stake my life on this if I could afford a newer vest. But, in a pinch, if you're in a pinch. It, this will work. Or if you had an old vest, a emergency situation, you take a vest like this, drape it over your driver's seat, or drape it over your driver's door. You, you know, it's going to provide you some protection still. So, all right, I'm going to try out the uh, Colt Python with a little 357 hollow point. Side, you've hey, been that's shooting. the side we've been shooting. Right. Ready? Oh, you, you just can't see the holes. Yeah. Yeah, can't see, yeah, can't you can the 357. Oh. Through the material, you can. Well, that's not the trigger on Don't be sh Hey! I'm not! Don't be shooting at an angle. You'll fuck up the test. I thought you said this was a family show. Oh, we're going to edit out your ass. Oh, what? I'm the only one that hit anything. No damage to the backside. Maybe you shouldn't be so far back, Brian. Maybe you should scoot up a little bit. Uh, I think he's close. Think so? Yeah. Huh? Maybe you should scoot up a little further. 
Okay, so we're going to try it with the 762 by 39 with the expectation that it's going to defeat the vest on the first shot with ease. Uh-oh. He's going to destroy it. Oh, yeah. Oh, you missed. Did you miss? Oh man, that just went clean through. Okay, I shot a little bit to the left, and I know that this red dot is inside of it. Oops. So let's, let's take a look here. So I think I missed the corner of that extra panel, which I don't think would matter on this. Oh, it doesn't come all the way out. It's, hooked, it's supposed to be hooked up there. So we have the entry hole on the we have the entry hole on the front of the panel, clear exit hole on the back. Um, we have a clear. Now there's the back side of the. Or no, that's the front side of the mannequin. But there's the back side that was intact before. So it blew out the whole back side of the mannequin there. And there's the exit hole out the back with that two, with the 762 by 39. So it went through the front rest, through, through the mannequin, and out the back of the vest. So if you don't think you need steel plates in your vest, you might want to think again.